My trusty Amiga has become a little less trustworthy and temperamental. Occasionally, the keyboard stops working, and it was working earlier, because you can see the letters in green. And if I move the mouse, you can see that the computer itself is working. Hmm. Before I get started with the fun stuff, I would just like to thank my channel sponsor, PCB Way. As the name would suggest, they do do PCBs, and you can order them like this blank, or you can have them populate them for you. With order values from as little as $5, and fast shipping, and fast turnaround, they make a great choice. But PCB Way, they also do 3D printing, as I had this case made up. And they also do CNC machining. And if you're stuck for ideas and you're a Spectrum nut like me, check out their project pages. They've got some great ideas on there to inspire you for your next project. I'd just like to thank PCBWay for helping make videos like this possible. And there is a link in the description. And when the keyboard stops working, the caps lock light starts flashing. And here we've got a double beep. And if you Google this, you will find this, which suggests that there is a problem with the RAM on the keyboard. So me being me, I dashed straight into eBay and bought myself a replacement. Now, when it comes to RAM on the machine, RAM on the machine. This isn't a machine, is it? When it comes to the RAM on the keyboard, motherboard, then I don't know where it is. We've got a couple of LEDs. We've got the keyboard connector itself. We've got the ribbon cable that goes back to the Amiga. We've got a few ceramic capacitors. We've got some more uh, capacitors there. Uh, we've got a couple what looks like to be logic chips, uh, possibly a timer chip there, possibly, and the proprietary Amiga chip. But I don't see any RAM. Now, it's, it's quite feasible, I suppose, that the, the RAM is inside the, is it the BIOS? The one sort of like custom chip that does everything, the controller, the RAM, I don't know, I don't know. Perhaps you can let me know in the comments if, uh, if you know. But I think first things first is, is swap this to see if it fixes the fault. And then maybe actually have a look at the other board and see um, see if there's any fixing to be done. But if it's RAM, I don't know, because I can't see any. See if we can get the PCB off. Thank you. 
Well, here we are back with the Amiga all put back together. Uh, the good news is we have no blinking caps lock light. So, if we go with F2, The Amiga restarts. Top tip, if you don't want your Amiga to randomly restart and you press a key, make sure Can you see that? I put it too far to one side. I didn't see I didn't see that. So let's do it properly this time. No way, it'll probably restart less. Fingers crossed. Right, so back in the room with the keyboard connector conventionally connected this time, i.e. connected properly. We don't have, don't have, no, don't have a blinking cap slot light. That's excellent. Right, let's go to keyboard. Let's press some buttons. I should have been a typist. I think that's a success. Now the question is, <coughs> Is there anything we can do with this? So look at the board then. You can get these, but they're really, really expensive. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try bobbing these electrolytic capacitors out and test those, see what they're like. Can't test them on the board, so let's, uh, let's desolder them one at a time and... Uh, and see what they're like. I think it's worth trying the transistors. I think they're either going to work or not, these aren't they? No, no. Oh, let's give them a whirl. Let's bump the transistors off, see, uh, see if that does anything. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you have it. If you've got a faulty Amiga keyboard with a flashing caps lock light, then the chances are you're going to have to replace the keyboard motherboard as from my experience it's not going to be the capacitors or the transistor. I do think it is going to be the big chip there but I don't know. So a partial win, I'll throw that away. Partial win, if you like what you've seen don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, if you want to see more of this rubbish then don't forget to subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you well and hopefully I will see you again soon.